Welcome to the 20 of this multiple snake diet craziness. And um, I've finished my fast, by the way, on the end of Saturday. And we had some victory. I had um, sausages, uh, burgers. I did have it on buns. Uh, so no, I shouldn't have had it on buns, but I did. Um, and I had a couple of fish. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, I had four bags of crisps, um, I had two cheddars, two prawn cocktails, and I think I had something else. Uh, oh, and I had some cheesecake, and it was rubbish cheesecake as well. Um, and I've been drinking diet, caffeine free, talk, pretty much all weekend. But yeah. And it is it's caffeine free, but I still wanted to drink it, you know what I mean? It was still not in from fact so that stuff is nicer than the original Diet Coke which drives my mouth out. So yeah, so I had that. But I only had it at night. I only broke it out at night. So I was pretty much three days on my fast. Um Sunday I didn't eat all day and I had again bread again. But I had 16 slices of bacon, a little bit of um, bread, and then I had the angel cake because I bought that for somebody else. It turns out I didn't like it. I just was staring at me, so I thought I'd just eat that. Considering, I thought, you know, I'm on a fast now till Friday. So today is my second fast. Oh, really, by the way, with the effects of me and fasting, by the way, I feel stronger mentally, even though I ate that cake. Um, I'm feeling a little bit stronger mentally, but I shouldn't have been eating that cake, I shouldn't have eaten the bread, but I still feel mentally, I can, I can still do the fasting, I feel like I can just do that straight away, I just thought, just get a bit rid of some of the food in there. Um, I'm stronger physically as well, I'm not sure, my muscles ain't got any bigger or anything like that, but it's like I feel I can carry more weight. Um, I can walk faster. Um, I can go up the stairs without um, needing an ambulance to come and take me away because I've got too um, out of breath. So everything's improving just from a three day sodding fast, which is unbelievable. But I know this from last time when I was fasting for a month, month and a half. Different intervals were completely 100% a month and a half, but that's how I feel after that, is how I feel now after a three days fast, which is unbelievable, really. I'm hoping I've still lost weight though, because I did do a three days fasting routine, in which, yeah, I did drink diet cold, or diet caffeine free coke, I wanted to get rid of the caffeine addiction. So I was going for a diet free caffeine, diet cold caffeine, and it kind of works. I said it was nicer, so I wanted to drink more. This week though, I'm just... 100% staying to the um, snake juice, but you know, if I do get a little, a little thing, I might have some. I can't, I can't have Pepsi Max no more, the original one, because the longer I go into this fasting and this dieting stuff, the sweeter it becomes for some reason. And at the moment, Pepsi Max original is just way too sweet to drink, even though there's no sugar in it, so it's a bit mad. So if I can find some Diet Coke. Caffeine free, I'll probably buy that to be honest with you and just have one or two at night before I go to sleep. It's not going to kill you, apparently, maybe. But yeah, let's um, see my weight. I was 232, 323.2 pounds on Friday and I couldn't weigh myself Sunday, couldn't weigh myself Saturday. Now it's Monday, let's have a look, see what's happened. Okay, yeah, so that's not very good news, is it? I, I've definitely overeaten to hit that target. Um, I don't think it's going to change on the next time I get on. It didn't feel like it was going to change like it normally does. Three hundred twenty-four point six. 
Ma ci deve essere pronto a conoscere i piani suoi. A noi della vita, non lo faccio più di te, non ho assolutamente crazy, no? Mm. 324.6 Well, uh, well, that's a bit more, isn't it? Alright, um, 324.6 pounds. So I am up. 1.4 pounds and this is a mad thing right because i've definitely lost weight on the belly because here this year i've had to tighten the shorts so they stop falling down on me but jogging bottoms what i wear um they've been because normally i don't bother with the same stringy thing because you know it's too tight and it's stuck them all, all through the thing but even they're feeling a bit baggy at the back so I'm getting bagginess at the back. I'm getting bagginess down here. The weight what I've put on is probably the water weight. So I can possibly think it, not 100% sure, but it's just probably between five and two pounds in water weight there. You know, if I lose that, then I'm under. But yeah, eating too much over the two days, I ate bread like an idiot. Uh, probably about like this time, I want to fast from now. This is day zero, this is the fast day, fast two, day zero. I'm going to fast all the way till Friday now, so it's a lot easier to do it at home. And in the future, I want to keep the, um, if I'm going to have a meal, make sure I don't have any bread. But I tell you what, when you come up the fast and you see that bread there and it looks all like pillows, you know you shouldn't eat it, you know it's a lot of crap, but... It does look really, really tasty, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so as I think about in the future. But like I say, money up, up 1.4 pounds, probably mainly due to water weight. And I do feel a bit looser in this bit here. And I feel a bit looser in the back. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. But let's, I will come back Wednesday and say, what's up? What's happening? Have a good one. I'll see you then. This is going to be a four-day fast. Oh, if you can, if you complete. Oh, if you include today, five. <laughs> Latest.